and I've got an emulator on there that will play all the games for, you know, educational purposes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Life. Today we're going to be asking and answering the question, what exactly is on this mysterious game desk? Judging by the badly translated English on the CD and the fact that it came in this paper sleeve, I might suggest that it's probably not 100% legit. But let's find out. First off, a little bit of context. Now this thing was found in my girlfriend's family attic. None of them seem to remember where it comes from, no one seems to remember what's on it. So I don't exactly know what I'm getting myself into. As long as there isn't any viruses on there, which I don't think there will be, I should be fine, right? Right? As previously mentioned, this CD has some terribly translated English on it. For example, the games that are included are Dragon Limit. I assume that means Dragon Limit, but I could be wrong. Karate, which seems to be spelt fine. Millipede, which I assume is Millipede. Star. Solider, which I assume is Star Soldier. There's also Gunsmoke, which I've never heard of. Dot 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 with 300 games. <laughs> Not entirely sure what I'm getting myself into with this. I will say this though, I do feel like whoever made the CD was potentially taking advantage of people who probably don't know better, who just wanted some cheap games for the kids to play. And that makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. All right, after saying all that, let's put this thing in. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it looks like it's just a bunch of ROMs. <laughs> NES ROMs, uh, to be precise. All right, so I've had a quick look at this CD and apparently it's just full of a bunch of NES ROMs and a .DVD file. So is this like a CD game that you can like put in your DVD player and just play it through that? I don't know, I don't have a DVD player too test that theory. I do just want to take this opportunity to say that I'm not 100% okay with ROMs, like I much prefer to play stuff on the original system or like an updated version of it. Like I'm okay with like video game preservation, like if you know a museum wants to use like a ROM or something like that to educate people and preserve games or if you have like a physical version of the game and you want to play it digitally or something like that. But selling stuff on a disc, I'd I just think that's really dodgy and I don't really like it. <laughs> but, you know, it's swings and roundabouts, I guess. It's, it's very much a gray area, especially with games that are like this old. Um, but that's a whole, you know, talk for another video, I guess. In any case, I've decided to move all this stuff onto my modern PC as it just makes it easier to capture it. And I've got an emulator on there that will play all the games for, you know, educational purposes. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> all right, so in this folder we have all the files and folders that I got from the CD, plus an additional folder that I'll talk about in a second. So we have the NES game.dvd file that's apparently coming up with um, VLC player icon, but it doesn't open it for some reason. And interesting look at those dates, 21st to the 5th, 2002. So that is what, 19 years old? Uh, which is interesting to say the least. We have the LS ROM folder, which has a bunch of ROMs in it, and also ROM 1, which again has a bunch of ROMs in it. We have MESEN, or whatever it's called, or MESEN, or whatever, uh, and that is the emulator that I'm going to use to run these. But let's have a look at the ROMs themselves. First, let's go to ROM 1, and as you can see, there is a whole bunch of files in here. 254 files all together in this particular folder. Now you can see all the ROMs down here, it also has a directory, which if I open that up, so it just has a bunch of gobbledygook for the majority of these ROMs, for whatever reason. Uh, then down here we have a few bad dudes, it sounds like a fantastic game, Chippendale, Captain American, Fantastic Blaster Master, DuckTales, Dragon Lair, Gammo, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, basically a whole bunch of God of the Goop, which is a good start. Yeah, so it's just a bunch of ROMs. Oh, results. 
Okay. It just seems to be um, some information about whether they work or not in a particular emulator. That's strange. Yeah, that's just the same one. Oh. 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 Okay. Tom and Jerry, Warriors Wood, Nintendo World Cup, Shadow of the Ninja, a whole bunch of ROMs, <laughs> as previously mentioned. Captain American, of course, Blaster Master. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be going through all these later. All right, what about the other folder? Um, oh, these are actually named. Oh my goodness, where is it? Where is it? Top Gun. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be playing that later. Okay, so let's jump back into the NES folder. Now I'm going to be using Messen, M-E-S-E-N, whatever it's called, uh, to play these games. And I'm going to use my Xbox controller. Because why not, right? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, it's in... Chinese or Japanese, I, I can, I really struggle to tell the difference. I think that is Japanese. I think, but don't hold it to me. I know I'm translating the comments below. I really appreciate it. Oh my, look at hands. Oh my goodness. Oh man, these graphics are amazing. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, I can run, and I can shoot. Oh my god, bad guy. Oh no, I can only punch now. What? What? No! No! <laughs> We're both punching each other. Ah! Oh, yes. Yes. Ha. Ha. Okay, I don't know if this is the emulator, but those graphics are... Tripping out immensely. I feel like I'm actually at Nakatomi Plaza. And I'm actually running around barefoot. Come on. Okay. Oh, I've got a gun. Ah! Ah! Yes. Oh. Okay. I think I've got like no health whatsoever. Oh, got a little bit of health. Oh! 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 Am I dead? Oh! <laughs> oh, I've fallen off the building. <laughs> and that is how Die Hard happened. Great. Alright then, let's try something else. Oh my. That tomb. That tomb, man. Oh, this game's great. Oh my goodness. Look how fast I'm going. Oh, okay. Oh, mate. Yes. 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 Oh, I am loving this. I'm not very good at it, apparently. Okay, so I've opened just a random one, and I have no idea what this is. Tai... The ex Exeter? I have no idea what that is. Oh. 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 Oh my goodness. Oh my god. What? What is this? Oh my god. Am I a transformer? What do I do? Okay, okay, I've got a... Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. 
my transpire. Oh. What? <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Alright, I don't like this game. Oh, is this like the original Donkey Kong? Oh, it's like the original Donkey Kong. Let's do it. Right, jump. Jump button. Oh yeah, that is some retro skill right there. Oh, I don't know. Was... I've literally never seen a level after that original one. That is so weird. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, what do I do? Oh! I die. <laughs> well, that was silly. Okay, so I can't touch the bottom. Well, that's lame. So yeah, one less mystery in the world. Apparently the CD is full of NES ROMs, which I wasn't expecting, but you know what? A very nice surprise indeed. Because now I've got hundreds of NES ROMs to look through and archive and potentially feature in future videos. So keep an eye out for that. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, then by all means like, comment, subscribe, all that social media goodness. And as always, keep living that best nerd life.